everybody, today we're looking at Zebra Cats. Uh, I actually picked it up on AppSumo. It did fall off, unfortunately. I bought it like the last day it was available. This is an AI video generation tool. Um, it's not just text to video. I do believe you can do a few other options. So supposedly you can do video ads, blog to video, and viral social videos. Uh, you are able to make landscape videos. You can pick the style of the images. For this one, I believe it was sketch. The big limiter is the two minutes. Two minutes is about as long of a video as you can get. And I'll go over the settings that you can pick here in just a minute. Bound the by the shared love fantastic. for this joyous escapade. Just when you think it can't get any. Now that's, that's Adam's voice from Eleven Labs. So it's got very high end voices. The images are not amazing. They use custom models that are definitely not mid journey, probably not even up to the quality of Dolly 3 in my opinion, but they're not terrible. And they do have a lot of different styles, a script editor, and you can just delete stuff and update the voice and it'll automatically update everything. So that's pretty cool. They do not have a lot of text options on here. Keep that in mind. That's a, that's a big limiter, I think. They're not even all that good either, to be honest. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the <clears throat> text effects settings so far. Uh, the music is I get, I get standard music. Uh, you got to be careful with all music on video platforms, though. Now, when you first log in, this is what you're going to have. You're not going to have your videos up here, obviously, because you wouldn't have made any. This is where they pop up after you're done generating them. We'll look at the rest of them here in just a bit. On the side here, you get your home. Your recent projects, which is just a closer look at these. Uh, your brand kits, I made one for Marketing Reviewed. It's pretty simple. It doesn't give a whole lot of information, but I'm assuming it passes this through to the AI model. Gives it a little more information to work with while creating your videos. Now, generally, you probably want to put a lot more into it than what I did. Uh, I was just trying to set it up, see if there's anything else that I haven't seen. That's pretty neat. The credits are pretty generous. I have 750 credits on this one. And we'll go over the pricing here in just a minute. These videos, I think it was four. Yeah, I'm sorry, five. So five videos uh, is only 8.75% of the way through, basically 10% on the 750 pack, which is essentially seven bucks. So five videos for seven bucks, assuming you're paying the that monthly rate. Uh, that's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's slightly over a dollar each, and competitors like uh, Short X charge about $3 each, so obviously it's a lot cheaper than that. They do seem to have a lot more options as well, so let's go over that down here. So you got your AI ones here. Uh, this is your infinite scroll, your infinite zoom, which is pretty neat. I haven't seen that in another one yet. That's, that is unique to this software so far, and I've tested quite a few of these. Then you have your standard images where it switches. Uh, this one looks basically the same. It just looks like a different style. Yeah, that honestly looks the same as the other one. Um, so that's just the sketch version, which we did try. That's right there. You get your infinite zoom. And then you have your stock options here. I did try one of those as well. That's what this one was. It didn't turn out amazing, but it wasn't awful. Now, making a video is really easy. You can just click on the style you want or... You can go up here, hit create. You can create from a prompt where you just type in exactly what you want and it'll do that. Um, I did that back here with this one. Had to do a joke video. And again, we'll go over that here in just a second. Now you can put in a URL. Uh, I did that as well. That was these ones over here. Just put in the URL. And then you can put in just a script. And I did that one as well. That is this one right here, script with AI images. It's very simple to do. You just click on it, tell it exactly what you want. A video about the best things to do in London. Okay, so we got our idea there. We'll, we'll use stock library. Now you select your video length down here. So it's got a lot of options. The longest video you can do is about two minutes. I think the longest one I rendered was two minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, it's going to vary a little bit based on the voiceover you're doing. I will tell you right now that it, it does overdo it pretty much every time. So if you select 30 seconds, probably going to be around 40. Uh, if you select 30 to 40 here, it'll probably be 45 to 50 seconds. So just keep that in mind. You're always going to want to select 
lower than what you want. If you put 55 to 60 seconds to get a good short for YouTube, it's pretty much always going to be over 60 seconds. Uh, ultra realistic voices and standard. The ultra realistic voices are essentially 11 labs voices. They're very good. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow you. And you can choose male or female. Change in all things is sweet. And then you got the music mood. I don't mess with music too much with uh, videos on YouTube because you get copyright hit. Even if it is a copyright free music, it's not great. Now down here you select your brand and that's what it's going to put in a little information about your business into this. Now unfortunately that wouldn't make any sense for this one. Uh, oh, there's no way to deselect it. Oh, well, that might make things a little awkward. <laughs> Anyways, you can change your language over here. Unfortunately, I haven't done that because I don't know any other languages, so we're just going to do it as a regular one. We're going to use stock images, but let's check out the AI stuff. So you got sketch, pixel art, comic book, cinematic, art style pop art. I don't know what that means. Uh, art deco. I think these are just styles of art, essentially. You got your anime, uh, 3D model, which looks pretty realistic. You got your abstract, your craft clay, which I'm assuming is more like 3D stuff. Uh, you got your neon pink, abstract, um, art nueve, or whatever it's called. But yeah, they have quite a few options. You even got your steampunk down here. You got your uh, monochrome stained glass that one's that one's pretty neat origami so they have a lot of options let's go ahead and stick it around 35 to 40 seconds see if it goes over let's generate the script this over here is really annoying it's the little chat based ai widget it pops up every time you hit a button no matter what it's it's very annoying now it does take a long time to generate you obviously get to see it going here so it's not a huge deal but it does take a long time so in the meantime, let's check out the other videos that we already made. This was supposed to be a 60 second video. Why did the grape stop in the middle over. of the road? Because it ran out of juice. Ha, huh. get it? What do you call a drunkard grape? A raisin in the sun. Ha ha ha. How do you make a wine disappear? Drink it through a straw. Poof, it's gone. <laughs> Hilarious, right? Did you hear about the grape who got stepped on? He let out a little wine. Ha ha ha. Why did the winemaker be... <laughs> so that's pretty good. I actually like this one quite a bit. I picked, I believe it was the anime style for this one. Again, the images are not amazing, but I don't think it matters with stuff like this. It's not a huge deal. It's more the script, I feel like, and that was pretty good. All right, so here's the script that popped up for the 35 to 40 second video, I think it was. So let's generate the video. Now here's this sketch one. This is a long form. You do need a long form videos if you want to monetize on YouTube. Otherwise, it's not even worth doing. So let's go back and check the other ones here. Hey uh, everyone, this one exciting is news video. from Adobe. They're working on a generative AI video model for their Firefly family. Now I actually did this one just based on a script for a news article. I don't remember which one it was on my website. I think it was this one, talking about zero work. Uh, basically I just did I clicked the voila tab and told it to write a video script for a 30 to 60 second video. And this is what it gave me. Bringing incredible new tools to Premiere Pro. Imagine being able to generate video, add or remove objects, and extend clips using just text prompts, similar to Photoshop's generative fill feature. But that's not all. Adobe is also exploring third-party integrations with Runway, Pika Labs, and OpenAI's Sora models. This means more choices for Premiere Pro users. Need to extend a shot? Now that is the steampunk images. They're pretty good. Um, obviously the hands are always messed up, so it's not a super high-end model that they're using. Probably what makes it so cheap, to be perfectly honest with you. All right, next one is blog news with AI Welcome images. Welcome to the future where technology holds the key. Now, I, I believe this was realistic uh, or cinematic images. Introducing Zero Work, a tool that's revamping automation. This is not just another tech tool. It offers unlimited runtime, scheduling, and API calls, gearing you up for a task-free life. Zero Work is your guardian angel in the digital world. With its anti-bot and anti-spam... So, pretty good. And it actually got a decent little script there. Um, it's efficiently. It's not exciting by any means, but it's not bad. Now here's the stock image one. 
Oops, why did that one pop up? I must have forgot to render this one. Okay, yeah, I didn't, ex I didn't hit the export button. But we'll watch it in here. Hey, video editing enthusiasts. By the way, this was only supposed to be a minute long. Let's dive into Minvo, a tool aiming to transform video editing. Ima and I just put the blog URL in here. I didn't do anything else. It came up with this script. Um, I did select that I wanted it a minute though, so it did go quite a bit over. Imagine an improved version of Opus, turning long videos into social media friendly clips filled with subtitles, auto framing, auto emojis, and background music. All right, so uh, it's just picking up stock photos. It does vary from full screen to kind of half screen there. Uh, I like that. It adjusts the sizes, so it's not always the same. Um, but yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not knock your socks off editing, but it's definitely not just simple stock photos and voiceover. Uh, so it, it, it has stuff that does improve it slightly. The other one should be done. Yeah, this is it. It actually gave us 42 seconds, so it was only two seconds over. Welcome to London, Not too one of the most vibrant cities in the world. Get ready to explore the best things to do in this bustling metropolis. Start your day with a visit to the iconic Big Ben and the majestic Westminster Abbey. Then, hop on a double-decker bus and take in the stunning sights of the city from above. One of the most vibrant city best things to do in your day by experiencing the electric app performance. London has it all. Oh, it shows the brand there at the end. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty neat. So I want to do one more. It said it could do product videos. I don't have a product to sell, unfortunately, which would be pretty cool. Um, but for that, you'd almost want like some way to upload like a picture of the product or a couple pictures of the product. It does not have that option, unfortunately. So I wish they had a third option here for that. Upload your own videos. If they had that, I would actually probably keep this software uh, as of right now. I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but it does have a lot of promise. I like it so far. I like all the options. I like the, I love the voices. The voices are great. And I like the brand kits. That's huge. What product could we offer on marketing reviewed? I don't know. So maybe uh, marketing consulting or something. So let's do, so make a video selling marketing consulting on marketingreviewed.com. By the way, if you're wondering, that is not a service we offer. I'm just kind of testing this. I actually don't have a product I sell on marketing reviewed. I probably should. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. Uh, we'll do AI visuals. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick with cinematic. I, I quite liked that one. It doesn't need to be super long. We'll do 30 to 40 seconds. That's fine. We'll stick with Adam and we'll do energetic. I don't, you can't really hear the music because I never turn it up. So we'll test, we'll test that in a second as well. Yeah, and we'll be right back after this one is done. So here's the script. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's a good little start. Let's see what it generates. And remember, marketing videos and product-based videos are what they are trying to sell. Uh, see, video ads, that's what they want to be able to create. So this is kind of their bread and butter. Blog to video, I feel like is just okay. It's okay for that. Viral social videos, I don't see it producing a whole lot of viral content. Not with those poor pictures. Maybe if it had mid-journey, it could probably do some viral type content, but not with the current image models it has now. Uh, that being said, they are going to improve over time, uh, just as everything AI does. It's probably going to improve pretty rapidly, I can imagine. But let's test out the video ads. All right, and it's done. It is now loading in. And here's what we got. It gave us way more than the 30 to 40 seconds we asked for. Uh, and that's what I was talking about. It kind of goes way overboard. Uh, but let's see what it, we got here. Are you tired of marketing strategies that don't deliver? Do you want to turbocharge your business growth? Then look no further than marketingreviewed.com, your one-stop solution for all marketing consulting needs. At marketingreviewed.com, we pride ourselves on delivering tailor-made marketing solutions that drive results. Our team of experts dives deep into your business to create an effective marketing strategy that will skyrocket your revenue. But we don't stop there. 
We closely monitor your campaign's performance, fine-tuning every aspect to ensure maximum ROI. That's why businesses trust MarketingReviewed.com to guide them in the competitive marketing landscape. So, don't settle for less. Step up your marketing game with MarketingReviewed.com, where we put your success at the heart of our business. Remember, a better marketing strategy is just a click away. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. And it ends with the logo there. Uh, I wish you could put a call to action underneath the logo. That'd make it even better, like uh, a phone number or something. It's just something else on there to encourage a little more action. Uh, but what they have is a decent start so far. I'm actually pretty impressed with ZebraCat. Uh, I do have a lot of AI video creators, and we're going to be reviewing those over the next couple of weeks. But not bad. Not bad. I'm pretty impressed with ZebraCat so far. So let's check out the roadmap before we go over the pricing and everything, what you'd be looking into. So we won't look at the done because obviously that's done. So what's in progress now is the ability to control the length of the video scenes. Uh, apparently you can't do that yet. Yeah, you can't. There's no, there's no scene control yet. So that is coming. Increase control over generating scenes. I guess they're improving that as well. Add more languages. Eh, option to buy extra credits. That's pretty cool. So that's I'm surprised they don't have that yet. So what they have planned here, they're going to put in AI avatars. That's cool, I guess. Uh, they're going to increase the length up to five minutes instead of being a max of two minutes. So that's a positive one. Increase control over text effects. That's a huge one. That needs to be something they're working on now, honestly. Their text effects are terrible. Uh, their options are just, there's only six options. It's very, very little. Convert voice podcast to video. Okay, that's a neat idea. Uh, so then you would just upload a, an audio instead of using the, the text prompts or anything or the script. Increase export options, voice only, video only. Okay, that's kind of dumb. And then export video dimension. I don't understand what they mean by that. Uh, you create it in a certain dimension, so I'm not sure what that export in a different dimension would matter. So it looks like under or cloning of voice is the most requested. Long form videos seems to be pretty important for everybody. These are all just under review. This is what they have planned. Their the roadmap seems okay. It's not bad. It doesn't like blow my socks off or anything or get me too excited. So just keep that in mind. They do have some good quality stuff on the roadmap, but nothing that is insanely groundbreaking. As of now, it's a pretty solid app. It's pretty solid software. I like it. I would use it if I didn't have so many already. And over the next few weeks, <laughs> you'll find out exactly how many I have, um, and it's it's bonkers. So it's good. I, I like it. I would I would definitely use this. But let's go over pricing real quick. Cap mode is twenty six dollars, and let's jump over to our billing real quick. We are on the big plan, obviously, but we used eighty four credits uh, and created seven videos. So it's a, probably ten to fifteen, a little under fifteen, a little over ten credits per video, obviously depending on how long the videos are. It does the math for you. Okay, so you got 15 minutes per month. That's pretty good. And then this one is up to 300 minutes. I think that's a little high. So I think that's an overestimate, honestly. But yeah, not bad. $26 a month to limp in, test it out. You're going to get quite a few videos for that. You're going to get nowhere near 50 minutes though. So I'm not sure where they're getting that number from. Uh, I would expect more like 10 to 20 minutes for the cat mode and probably for the super cat 100 minutes maybe definitely not 300 so i'm not sure where they're getting this these estimates they must be without the premium voices so just keep that in mind if you go test it out it's definitely worth testing out they do have a free mode that is 25 credits that'll get you a couple uh they'll get you a couple videos 26 dollars, not too bad i will leave the links down below so you can check out zebra cat for yourself um, the thing that showed the most promise, honestly, was the product videos. And that seems to be what they're trying to focus on, uh, along with their viral social videos. The blog to video was just okay. It was usable. You could use it to make some videos for your blog, but uh, I don't think it's going to get a whole lot of views. They weren't amazing. The product videos were really cool, though. I liked that. You could, you could do some easy videos, easy shorts for... Uh, selling one of your products. So uh, I could definitely see that. They need to add a few more quality of life options. 
But overall, Zebra Cat is a win. It's not a five-star software by any means, but it is a usable software that is, I would say, decently worth the money. It's not, you know, it's not a whole lot cheaper than than Short X because I think their their estimates are based off of using the standard voices instead of the premium voices. But I would not recommend using the standard voices because they're not as good. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out ZebraCat, please click the links below. That does help support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.